High Plains Technology says it's time for school. Well, here we are. It is Wednesday, and it is time for school with High Plains Technology Center. Katie Shirley, good morning. Good to have you again. Good morning, Brett. Today I have with me um, our new guidance counselor, Audra Halderman. Good morning. Good morning, Katie. Glad to be here. I love Audra already. She brings a great um, enthusiasm to the school and just a joy. So it's been great to have you with us. And so tell us a little bit about where you came from um, and how you got to High Plains. Well, I grew up um, a Camargo girl, actually, which is south of here quite a ways. Um, then went to high school at Visai, and then I went to college at Southwestern, and I ran as fast as I could back home. Yes. <laughs> I taught for 23 years at Visai, um, started out in third grade teaching elementary, and then I went on to get my counseling certificate and counseled while I taught language arts. So junior high was my jam, actually, while wow. I was counseling. So even up there till the end, you were doing both teaching yes. English and... Yes. My very last year, and um, we hired a counselor there, and I went to teaching exclusively uh-huh. with the library. So I'm a librarian, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, someone had told me you were one of the very best, probably... Did you do pre-K before, or was third the youngest you've done? Uh, I did first grade, but that was okay. actually where I started. It was at Taloga. I forgot about my Taloga, Taloga year, but that was a good year, yeah. Someone had mentioned you were the best they had ever ever witnessed teaching the well, aren't younger. they the sweetest so. i don't know that i'd say that but that's very kind sounds like you can do many many carry different many different roles so um now you're at high plains and um so you started what was it july or august yeah july one was my first day okay and what do you think so far so far great it was a a different uh, pace and adjustment that i had to make but the people made it very easy i don't know if you've Well, I know you know the faculty. I don't know if everybody else does, but they made it very easy for me to love the job quickly. That's awesome. So um, tell us a little bit about your role, um, kind of for those outside of the school, say um, someone that may be interested in becoming a a student. How would they, what would their interaction with you be in their process of that? Well, we have an enrollment process, and this was our very first year to do online enrollment, and that was my very first year, so that was interesting. We're still kind of tying up loose ends with that, um, but next year it'll go very smooth, I anticipate. Um, so they're declaring interest now. I'll do some preschool visits before uh-huh. we open enrollment. I'm hoping to go individually teach school and have an enrollment session. Can you do that um, later, like in the end of the school year? Yes, we'll, we'll plan February thinking. or March. Okay. And we'll actually have them enroll online right in then. what they are anticipating attending. So they'll enroll as a sophomore or as a junior Okay, for the upcoming year. Okay. So you're in the schools talking to the students about yes. all the different programs, and then they would just right then with you enroll. Mm-hmm. That's and then, right. And um, they would find out then if there's an interview process, or is that later? Yes, there are several of our programs that interview, and so they have a paper they have to fill out. What they'll do is enroll or declare their interest, and then they'll um, have a paper process that they have to fill out, and then that instructor actually interviews them individually. And that's usually early August, or is that end of the school year? Uh, I'm That may look a little different this year, but when I came in this year, it was early August. Okay. So. Awesome. And then so now say they're a student at High Plains. Um, how do they, what is your role now with the students that are currently there? Do you meet with them one-on-one very often or? Um, at the beginning of the year, we had guidance with each program. So I would go in the automotive program and we would offer a guidance lesson. And so that told them basically our rules and our handbooks. It also gave them a chance to express their interest in what their future plans were mm-hmm. um, so that I can offer guidance right, if, like a, if they a need it. Sure, um, a career counselor, yes. Cool. And there's a mental health aspect of it too. Just uh-huh. they have that opportunity to come in and see me um, whenever they should need to. Yeah, well, that's good. Definitely a need right now. I know mental health is increasingly becoming a... Yes. A hard um, issue that's struggle for a lot of people. So um, and then also your role would involve a lot of our tours that we have outside um, students come participate in. That's so right. This so year so far we've done we haven't we, we haven't. did a senior college day. And so um, we have a, a, 
I would say a consortium that has job fairs all over the state Uh and High Plains is a location that they chose to have and that we participate in. So we had that um, where a whole bunch of colleges come and then our sending schools um, participate and stop by their table and collect information. Um, then we we this year we had to cancel our sixth grade career fair because of our demo and oh, remodeling right. project upstairs. that we have upstairs with our health suite. Um, and that is that normally um, where they just go through each of our programs to get a little taste. Sixth grade career fair we actually have a lot of community help, so okay. they come in um, different job. Okay, bankers um, and mm-hmm. yes, different. And so they'll choose their places they want to go see. Okay, eighth grade career fair day uh, will be Thursday and Friday, and that is a tour of our facilities. So they get to see all of the different offerings we have, including our LPN and WIND program. Well, okay. not the WIND program, but the, our LPN program. Well, I let me back up. That's for sophomore tours. Yeah, I get my tours mixed up. Yeah, um, but for eighth grade, that excludes those adult programs. Our sophomore tours will include those okay. programs. Okay, so yeah, normally it's sixth grade, eighth grade, and sophomore. And sophomores, and yes. then each tour is a little bit different depending on the the grade they are and what. Yeah. So the sophomores, since they'd be coming, um, pretty quick. The pretty adult quick. ones would wouldn't be too far out of reach for right. them. Right. So eighth grade, it's just what we have. What they'll be able to attend as a junior or senior. Okay. Yes. So they can get to thinking about that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So this Thursday, who do we have coming on? Thursday is our sending schools, what we refer to as our sending schools. So it's our smaller areas coming in. So you and have Bysai and Sharon Mutual and Fort Supply Fargo. Buffalo. Moreland. Fargo yeah. Gage. All our smaller schools. Woodward. Mm-hmm. Yes. Woodward comes on Friday. Okay. So Woodward, they'll be all by themselves since there's so many. Yes. Okay. Split up into nice little groups that Beth Moss has yes. done for us. She's that's a gym. Great. And so that's this Thursday and Friday they'll be out there. Yes. Okay. And then what's what do you know of coming down the pipeline after that? Uh, well, sophomore tours happen in January. Okay. And so, so right around the corner. Right now I'm doing guidance already in the schools for that. They, uh, We show them a video. We have a mm-hmm. really nice video of, of the school's offerings. And so I popped into Sharon Mutual this morning, actually, and showed them our video. And then we talked about each program, and they choose their top four interests and they'll come to that in january we'll okay. do two days in january so did the eighth graders do that as well and on, on how to choose which no ones they, they didn't tour? they go to all of them okay so it's 15 minute sessions smaller sessions for junior high you know junior yes. high's an animal of their own <laughs> okay they're my jam but they're a different animal um so they'll go to all the sessions okay and that way they'll have an idea of what or the all's sophomores offered. they have a longer amount of time right in, so they choose the their top four okay mm-hmm. I see. And then um, boot camp, life happens. Like, well, not life happens. We already had that. We had life happens and our biz department puts that on, but it was fantastic. And we had a lot of community involvement with that too. Yes. Um, seniors participated and that was my first time I got to observe and, yeah. and help with that. I thought it was very beneficial and was fun to see their balance at the yes. end of the session. Yeah, We had some in the black and some in the red. And that's when they start out. They they all draw their career, their family, mm-hmm. and then they have to go around and actually work with that budget that they have. That's right. With daycare, um, housing, rent, yeah. groceries, all that. I got that. to see some of the post surveys, and of course they're anonymous, but... Um, they said any suggestions, and, and the student had replied, yes, do not get married to a deadbeat dad. And <laughs> another one said, do not have children. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty eye-opening. Uh, yeah, it is eye-opening. I'm sure we marked all of the inflation up for it. For yeah, them, I think they did plan that, yes. And we will have a senior boot camp, okay. and that is planned as well. Um, and that's nice to have as far as different skills those seniors may need going out into the adult semi-adult world, right. you know, at least college yeah. or at least straight into the workforce. But first time they'll have to um, encounter insurance perhaps or even self-defense right. and um, so interview etiquette. financial advisor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I haven't really started working planning on that, but I've attended it before as a yeah. sending school counselor Bringing and I loved students, it. I yes. loved changing tires like basic yes. um, car maintenance and stuff you really should like pay that. attention to. Sure. <laughs> yes. More than I do sometimes, yes, Katie. and I did back then. <laughs> well, is there anything else you want to tell us about um, just anything in general? 
I'm just very pleased to be a part of the High Plains Tech Center family and uh, to be a member of its jovial group there. Well, quite a group we love of people. having y'all, and I'm sure that was tough to leave your it was other I, home. And the good thing about it is, I still get to see them yes. as well, being part of High Plains Tech Center. She's so. out there giving those vice size students candy and making sure they're taken care of. Yeah. So that's sweet. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you for being my guest today. And thank we'll you for be having back me. Here next week on 100.1. Thank you.